Well, I'm here on behalf of the Southern African Development Community. Tanzania is the current chair of the political organ of uh, that community. And we were asked to come and participate in the Security Council debate on the renewal of MONUSCO, the Peacekeeping and Stabilization Force in the DRC. For SADC, this is of particular importance and interest because within MONUSCO is embedded the Force Intervention Brigade, which has a very special mandate to engage in combat operations against the negative forces in the DRC. So the renewal of MONUSCO has also included the renewal of the uh, in force intervention. Uh, and the debate has been very difficult and long. It was supposed to, to end three days ago with the adoption of the resolution. But there were issues that had to be discussed, uh, one of which is the size of MONUSCO, and the other is the financial implications of giving enhanced and added strength to the Intervention Force Brigade. We participated in this uh, debate on a very exceptional basis. Usually on adoption day, it is just the members of the council who are given the floor. But the current president of the Security Council, whose term expires in a few hours, gave me the opportunity to speak. So I had to recognize and thank him for that. But at the same time, I took the opportunity to thank the Ambassador of France, who is a pen holder for the resolution on, on MONUSCO. And I also took the opportunity to thank all the 15 members of the Council who unanimously adopted this resolution after long, odious negotiations led by France and the role of the African non-permanent members in the Council, Ethiopia, Egypt, and, and Senegal has been instrumental indeed. I also took the opportunity to extend my profound condolences to the loss of life of two UN experts, one from Sweden and the other from the United States, who were part of the experts in the DRC and while in the province of Kasai, they were abducted and brutally killed by unknown assailants. But we hope this will be found and appropriate legal action be taken. In SADC, we are very happy that the renewal has taken place, and we shall be following very closely uh, in the SADC region the implementation of this uh, mandate. There were three significant issues in this mandate. The first one is to create and craft a new strategy of dealing with new uh, negative forces in the DRC, some are indigenous, some are from neighboring countries, which have mutated and are resorting to new tactics and strategies, including terrorist and low insurgency tactics which were never there, and this poses a special challenge to the intervention force. The other one is the opportunity uh, which is on the table now of a political settlement that was brokered by Senko, which is the Episcopal Conference of the Catholic Church in, in the DRC on the 31st of December. There are still issues that need to be resolved for the implementation of this agreement in the wake of the death of the opposition leader, the former and late <coughs> Etienne Chisekedi. The appointment of the Prime Minister and the appointment of the President for monitoring the implementation of the agreement are still contentious. But we in SADC have pledged and have promised to go back to Kinshasa within two weeks to continue the dialogue both with the government and the opposition to make sure that this agreement is given a new lease of life and to encourage the Electoral Commission to continue registering and updating the Electoral Commission and to mobilize international support for the very difficult logistical challenges that are needed to carry out elections in the DRC before the end of the year. A country more than the size of Western Europe and with hardly any roads except travel by air, it needs resources. And the people who are expected to vote are close to 40 million, and that is no small number. We hope the UN will help 
and ask other members of the UN to support this process. Thanks, thanks a lot. Do you, do you think that the, 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 the lowering of the ceiling of the, 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 of the MONUSCO force, does this impact the force intervention brigade in any way? And do you think that either the brigade or MONUSCO maybe should have some presence in Kasai, where the two experts that you discussed uh, apparently were killed without UN protection? The lowering of the, the force strength will not affect the intervention uh, brigade force. They will still remain at 3,000. But this force will be given additional assets, such as greater mobility with uh, armored personnel carriers, helicopter capability to move from one part of the country. And now that the violence has spread beyond northern and southern Kivu to Kasai and even to the northern limits, of the Oriental uh, province, it is necessary that the Force Intervention Brigade is given that ability of quick mobility. But at the same time, we have noticed that these negative forces, new and old, are employing totally new tactics, which were never there, which are bordering on terrorism, low-intensity guerrilla insurgency, but also fetish violence that was never there. So the intervention force need to be more creative to deal with this. And of course, we shouldn't forget the ideology of genocide in the Great Lakes region has not disappeared. There are elements there that continue to propagate it. And there are elements of the FDLR from Rwanda that is still a thorny issue. But the intervention brigade has proved more than once the ability to contain them. Since you're, can I, I, just, I wanted to ask you one thing. I know that you're also, your country is also involved in the Burundi process, the, the talks or inter-Burundian dialogue in, in Arusha. Do you think, is progress being made and do you see this as also being at least some danger? I, I get, you know, I'm told that, for example, Tutsi officers of the army, some of them are either demoted or, or worse. What's being done to sort of, to, do you think it's turned the corner or what's, the, what's your assessment of the situation in Burundi? The East African community, whose membership consists of six countries, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and South Sudan, have taken up this issue to deal with the challenges in Burundi in the form of having a facilitator to convene a, all parties, a comprehensive negotiations, and a mediator. Uh, the former president of Tanzania, uh, will, Benjamin William Kappa, is the facilitator, and President Seveni is the mediator. There have been some difficulties in convening all the different stakeholders, particularly from the opposition, which is based outside the country, mainly in Brussels, Belgium, uh, who although have been invited to participate, but their position are really hardline. And the government of Burundi also has taken a difficult stand uh, against this element some of whom have charges in court for participating in the attempted coup of May uh, 2015. But the East African Summit, knowing these challenges of, of really overcoming the hardline positions of the government and elements of the opposition, is convening a summit at the end of April where the agenda on Burundi will feature prominently. And we are very... Uh, busy acting behind the scenes to make sure that uh, there is a breakthrough. And we also understand that the number of refugees that are coming out of Burundi as asylum seekers to Tanzania is increasing. We are also getting more and more refugees from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And we need to address these political issues in order also to be able to come to grips with the humanitarian uh, consequences of this political impasse. Is Burundi trying to join the SADC? And if so, what, are the, what, are, what do you think are the issues? They have applied, but there are some benchmarks that need to be considered, and it is work in progress, and the decision has to be at the level of heads of state. Meanwhile, the Secretariat is working very hard to make sure that they, they match the benchmarks and criteria for membership Actually, two countries have applied. One is the Comoros, and the other one is Burundi. And the verdict will be given by the Heads of State Summit in August 
this year. Okay, thank you. All right. Appreciate it. You're welcome. welcome back. Thank you very much, Michael.